Hi everyone, it's James here from Pro Tools Expert and I am joined via the magic of Skype and the magic of TeamViewer to somewhere over in California to Matt Dodge from Slate Digital. Hi Matt. Hi there. So um, I've been a bit cowardly, I have to admit. Um, I've seen all the cool stuff that the Raven version 3 software has to offer and I've chickened out. So uh, what I've done is um, gave Matt a quick... Um, email and said do you fancy coming on to a video type call thing and explaining to me and the pro tools massive um how we upgrade to version three matt rather foolishly agreed so here we are so um matt it's it's over to you really i'll i'll stay here and ask intelligent questions and try not to move my mouse around while you are because obviously you've got control of my machine sure no problem well, it's really easy to upgrade uh we we did a, a pretty good job of focusing on um, uh, making sure that it was an easy process. So if you just go ahead and uh, you know go to your downloads folder, wherever that is, um, on your computer, and locate the file that you downloaded from your account, it's really easy to just now double-click the package, and it's going to run you through the installation process of the update. Now, this is going to uninstall the old software for you as well. So, James, if you'd enter your password there. Yep. There we go. Uh, for those of you who are scared that you're seeing some kind of graph thing on the right-hand side of my screen, that's no graph. That's my daemon control software, because as of today, I am now a Trinov user. But we'll go there at some other point in time. And for those of you that haven't or don't know what a daemon or Trinov is, then you should really check out the videos. But um, enough of the sales pitch. And so once this uh, installs the software all the way, it's going to... Uh, also pop up with a second installer, which is your multi-touch driver. Um, this is going to require a restart after we install it, so I'm going to close out of this install, but you will want to hit continue here and run through this process to install the touch driver yep. um, accordingly. But I am going to X out of that for the sake of this demonstration. Um, once you have installed it all, uh, we're going to go ahead and if you have uh, NiFi still running, you'll want to quit that. And now go into your applications folder and uh, launch the following applications. So we'll go down to the bottom here and locate uh, our new version of NI5, which we've updated and created a lot of new uh, features with the Control Pro and Paul Nyrink. Um, so we'll go ahead and open that now, and that is the replacement for the NI5 application. Again, it just runs up in the top. I usually set that to run uh, uh, at startup. launch yeah, for yeah. my computer. Yep. Uh, the second of the process is moving to uh, your DAW. So in my case, and I think I'm locked up a little bit on the screen share. So give me one moment. Yep. Looks like it's trying to connect. But we'll go ahead to uh, Pro Tools next, or whichever DAW you're using. It can be, uh, you know, now we support Logic Pro X, Ableton Live, Studio One version three. Uh, digital Performer, and Cubase, and Nuendo. You'll notice that I've got most of those down there, certainly DP and um, Studio One 3. And uh, then we'll go ahead to our DAW and launch that. Um, so now that Pro Tools is loaded up, we'll hit OK on a session or go ahead and create a blank session, whatever you want to do there. And once it loads up, you can go ahead and then launch your Raven application, which... Uh, should be in your applications folder. So I'm going to go ahead and just launch it right from here. Uh, so once it loads up with the Raven splash screen, we'll go ahead and just select the DAW we're using. So in this case, it looks like Pro Tools 11 or 12. It's 11, yep. Okay, perfect. So select that. Um, and then we'll just hit OK. Yep, and it's loaded up. And I need to align my faders a little bit. But other sure. than that... So all you have to do is maximize the mix window like this using the top left uh, uh, green button to maximize the window. And then just align the track list to uh, uh, align perfectly with that provided red guideline. Yep, and there we go. We're all lined up. Perfect. And, and you're actually good to go at this point, so you've updated. Fantastic. Great stuff. So all I now have to do is... Um 
basically configure the Raven to how I want it to be, and I'm ready to fly. Yes. Fantastic. See, painless, even for me, a drummer. <laughs> awesome. Great stuff. Well, hopefully you, you found that interesting out there in internet, internet land, uh, and you, unlike me, won't be too scared to do these sort of things for yourself. Uh, but for now, I've been James from Pedals Expert. Uh, on the other end of Skype, thank you very much to Matt Dodge from Slate. No problem at all. Good to be here. And Matt, I will see you in a couple of weeks for a beer at Nam. Can't wait. Thanks Support ever so much it. out there. Thanks, Matt. And see you again soon for some more Gear Talk.